what it do you do today's video i want to try to do with a quick impromptu video in today's video i just want to give some quick words of wisdom goofy but anyway um so what i want to say is like look right we're living in the end days right and if you got eyes to see and ears to hear you can clearly see to hear what the is going on you see what i'm saying and you know um and this is like you know from my opinion what i'm about to say this is my opinion like, like come on man like this is like one of, if not the most corrupt time in history we have ever been in. Like, don't get me wrong, like, excuse me, don't get me wrong, like, America is still the greatest country in the world, you feel me? It's just, you gotta remember, like, America, the bloodline here, is the last of the royals. You know what I mean? And a lot of, um, Europeans came here, you know, the 13th son talk about this, you know, he go a little bit more deep into it, you know, and, um, you know, the royals as in so-called Negroes, whatever, and you gotta remember, like, we responsible for a lot of, uh, you know, like, people, so a lot of, um, like, overseas, right, for example, you got like the Vatican, the Church of Rome, and all that shit. They, that's satanic. You see what I'm saying? And you already know what the Catholic Church do to little boys. You already know. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know, go do your research. But a lot of people like Scottish, Irish, German, motherfucking um, Italian. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking um, all all different type of people, Russian. All those are Negro DNA, right? Those are Europeans that have Negro DNA. A lot of them came to America to search for their forefathers, which is the so-called Negroes, right? And you got these people out here, you know, um, the so-called Ooze or whatever. They know that um, America is like the last of a stronghold. So what they've been doing for a very long time, and this really started in like... Um, like the 1800s and shit like that in Britain. You know what I'm saying? But, um, like, basically, like, people like Aleister Crowley and all these other Jesuits, they just came up with a whole bunch of elaborate schemes to set up an infrastructure in America called the United States. The United States is a corporation. America is Turtle Island. Two different things. The United States is a corporation that is owned by the Church of Rome, the Vatican. And their job is to destroy America and destroy the people in America. And they want to destroy the rest of the Europeans as well because you have to remember. Not all so-called white people are bad. A lot of white people that's actually educated and enlightened, a lot of so-called black people, ain't no such thing as a black people, but so-called Negroes, which are really natives, native Indians, Native Americans, whatever you want to call it, that's really educated and knows what the fuck I'm talking about, is that their whole goal is to divide and conquer us, right? So we can kill each other off so they can come here and reap the benefits of the land and charge and tax and all that shit. Excuse me. That's what's already going on right now. All this shit like with taxes and paying for food, paying for, all this shit is set up by these Jesuits. Everything on earth is supposed to be free. Everything on earth grows in abundance for every single person. There should be no homeless people on this earth there should be no people no starving people on this earth there should be none of that shit why is this shit going on because we're in the end days 
these entities are trying to do whatever they can to kill us off. They want to kill off a certain bloodline. Any European that has Negro DNA, and you can, you can go look this shit up. They were talking about this on the History Channel years ago. It's called the One Drop Rule. I don't know if the number is raised, but let's like back in what, 2010, 2011, when I seen that statistic, I would have to go look, look it back up to see if it changed. But the One Drop Rule is like 7.8 million so-called white people, a.k.a. Europeans, have a drop of Negro DNA inside their blood. Which basically makes them half Negro, so-called, half black. It's just their pigmentation isn't as dark as ours because they were living in different parts of the world where the sun wasn't out like that. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. Europe is full of all black people, all black royalty. To the church, uh, Satan came over there to destroy them. Once they did that, you had a lot of Europeans that escaped from, um, from that side of the world, you know. Um... The Eastern world came to the Western world to get away from that shit. And these people, they then came up with so many different elaborate schemes to kill us off. That's why, if you see the shit that's going on right now, these people are fighting each other off and killing each other off because they debate like, hey, should we keep using these fucking slaves of America to keep making money off of them. Now, a lot of them are saying, no, we want to um, destroy America. You see what I'm saying? And the shit is real because look at like the you got infiltration, right? And this happens on both sides. When they are sending agents that look just like you, or they are sending a motherfucker that look just like you to throw you off, to make it think like this somebody is your brother, this somebody is your sister, this is all this shit. This whole time, that is a COINTEL pro agent that's there to kill, steal, and destroy, right? And this is what they do, right? They find middle class or elitist neighborhoods black so-called white hispanic anything whatever right they use the little race shit whole time all these same entities we all got similar bloodlines but you gotta remember you know um they do divide and conquer oh you're this you're that you're not supposed to hang with this person you're not supposed to do this so to keep us fighting amongst each other while they in the background changing rules and changing legislations and all that shit. Right? They did the same thing in Australia with the Aboriginals. And what they do is they find communities that's thriving that don't really need help from the satanic government. And they know this ain't the fucking 1600s, like the 1500s. They just can't come in here and kill the whole fucking community and then enslave a few people to breed out, and, you know, create, you know, more of their people or whatever. You can't do that. So what they do is they find little communities that's thriving. And they say, we don't want this community to thrive. Like, for example, why do you think most of these communities are already tore up, like so-called black communities. Why do you think they're already tore the fuck up? Because one, those are historical locations. Two, those were many elitist neighborhoods. Elitist like Tulsa, Oklahoma. That was a elitist black neighborhood, so-called black neighborhood. That was elitist Native Indian neighborhood. So what they do? They set it on fire, destroyed it. You got other so-called European elitist neighborhoods that's thriving and all that shit. So what they do? They put fentanyl in the community. They put crack cocaine in the community. They put heroin in the community. Done. Finito. Put a fork in it. That community is strung out on drugs. These people would rather see a community strung out on drugs than to see them be to see them thrive 
and operate independently without the help of the satanic government. Real talk. Real fucking talk. Another thing too, a lot of people don't know, a lot of these neighborhoods, they got Europeans in them, right? But remember, these are not regular Europeans. They have the one drop rule where they have Negro DNA in their blood. Some of them might know it, some of them might not know it. But these Jesuits and shit, they know it. Trust me. They have blueprints of um, each community in America, in each state, and stuff like that. And each, so, so, each so-called community is not the same. Some communities are more valuable because they built on top of Indian reservations or they built on top of stargates or grid lines. So basically, for example, if it's a community that's built on top of a stargate or a grid line or a reservation, most likely a lot of these communities was built on Indian reservations. That's why a lot of these places are hunted and cursed because the land was cursed because of what these people did to our ancestors. Real talk. Real talk. And like I said, these people would rather see a community strung out on drugs than to see them being thriving and independent. Real shit. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. You might see it. Uh, uh, pay attention. And pay attention. You know, everybody, I don't know what state you're in or whatever, but if you got eyes to see and ears to hear, you can go back and recall and you can see what the fuck going on. You got some neighborhoods years ago thriving, 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 thriving. Next thing you know, it just took a turn for the worse where businesses is leaving the community, there's drugs infested in the community, guns infested in the community, all that shit like Chicago. Chicago is the Mecca. It's one of the Meccas, you know, because Harlem is a Mecca too. I'm not from Harlem. I'm from Chicago. You hear me? So Chicago is a Mecca. It's the modern day Mecca, right? And before all this shit was happening, Chicago already already been like a a gang type of city. You know what I'm saying? Polish gangs, French gangs, Native American gangs, Italian gangs, all that shit. It's all Negro DNA. You see what I'm saying? So what they did was they threw in infiltration agents. Got rid of, got rid of people who was actually giving back to the community. Got rid of all the community organizers, so they could throw in their agents, the same people who were trying to stop the drugs, the same people that's bringing in the drugs, and then boom, years later, look at Chicago now. You see what I'm saying? Chicago is done. You know what I mean? Like I'm from there, but Chicago is done. They put drugs, guns. Got motherfuckers to kill each other. Boom. Now this shit is a never ending cycle. And that's just one thing they did for Chicago. They do this for other major cities, but some places they don't have to do that. Some places they just say, home, we're gonna drop some Fetty Wap in this motherfucker, some heroin, and we're gonna drop some fentanyl. Well, fentanyl, Fetty Wap. Um, we're gonna drop some heroin, we're gonna drop this. Boom. Community gone. Done. Finito. Put a fork in it. Wake the damn up, man. More videos come to show. Shit is really treacherous out here. You know what I mean? Real shit. It's the end days. Motherfuckers don't want to believe it. But you don't have to believe it. See, a lot of people, you know, uh, they see what the fuck going on. They just don't want to believe it. Because a lot of people sold their soul in this world for immediate riches. But they know at the end of the day, their soul is, is cursed for eternity. You see what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah, man, that's what happens when you play a dangerous game, man. Real talk. <laughs>